Grand 1.2, new trinket locations in the super duper update. There are five new trinkets in this update, and I'm going to show you how to get every single one of them in the map. The first one here is the Wasp Queen trinket. To get this, you just kill the Wasp Queen a bunch, and eventually you'll get it. I highly recommend you use the new mutation that gives you higher drop rates because I was able to get it in 10 kills using this. The mutation is called Dissection Expert and it massively increases drop chances. So this one here, the Wasp Queen Trinket, just means that when you shoot an arrow, your bow has a chance not to consume that arrow. It's an alright trinket, I guess, if you really like using bows. Definitely not one I'll be using, but it's cool to have. I don't know what the chances of it not using an arrow, um, the only way to figure that out would be to data mine the game, which someone will eventually do and then post it on the wiki. The second trinket here is the health and safety badge. In order to get this, you need to come into the queen bee nest, which you can get to just by parkouring in the compost bin. It's on the dead body where you also find the queen bee recipe. This health and safety badge gives you lifesteal, but it also gives you a bleed effect, a permanent bleed effect. So if you're running around the yard, you're going to be bleeding the entire time you have this equipped. And the lifesteal it gives you is pretty woeful. This one is pretty terrible. I really wouldn't use this trinket at all. You're basically just going to take a load of damage and you have a little bit of a lifesteal effect, which steals a little bit of extra health, but it's not great. For the third trinket here, this one is again inside of the composter. Just come up over here and go inside of the sour rocket and you'll find it just at the back there. This is modelled after the grub plates which used to be in the game to upgrade armour. This one when you equip it, it just gives you a special effect that increases your block strength. Which means when you're holding down a shield, the bar will now have more blocking ability to it. Again, not one I'll use, but... It's one that's useful to have, I guess. If you're trying to collect them all, then go get it. It's easy to get. For the next trinket, you need to come to the toolbox in the map, which is also where one of the wasp nests is, so be careful if you come over here. Uh, there is a piece of gum here. Now, you'll notice I tried to break it with a shovel, and it doesn't work. You need a tier 3 tool. Now, there's no tier 3 shovel in the game, if you didn't know. So, what you need to do, if you've watched enough myth busting, you'll know, grab a tier 3 Black Ox crossbow and some bomb arrows. And when you shoot this, it'll break the gum, giving you the Sticky Fingers Trinket. This one, when equipped, has a chance to steal items from enemies when you hit them. So if you hit an enemy, it can give you a random drop from that enemy. I actually got the Queen Wasp Trinket from the Queen Wasp when fighting it with this equipped earlier, which is ridiculous. To get the fifth and final trinket, come into the composter yet again and head to the far west. There is a Black Widow in this far west corner. If you break the web sack to the right of the Widow, you're going to find it's going to drop a trinket every single time called the Whittle Widowling. When you have this one equipped, it works exactly like Mom Jeans, except instead of summoning Spiderlings, it now summons Widowlings, a brand new uh, trinket in the game. You can probably combine these two trinkets together, plus Mansteria Stranger. You can basically run a summoner build in Grounded now, which is pretty cool. That's all five new trinkets in the 1.2 update currently. If any more get added or found, I will let you know. Thank you so much for watching the video, and uh, have a great rest of your day.